Let's continue Baba Reverse Minesweeper. So, World C involves, I think it will involve belts. Seven. Okay, so anyway, these are Minesweeper numbers, except we're doing it in reverse. So we have to push the boxes into the number, and, to, and we win when we fulfill all of them. So there we go. Seven adjacent boxes. This one's called Just Enough. Okay, so right now it's just vanilla, but there are some interesting mechanics that are added. <laughs> Two, one. So there's a lot to consider. It's funny that we have to kind of use mine super logic here because, I mean, there has to be a mine. Uh, like, there's one mine here, which means that because this three, there's one mine here, and there's only two other spaces left, so both of them must be mines. And that completes this. Now, the location of the last one doesn't really even seem to matter. We'll just fill that in. And now for this, uh, one mine here, one mine here. I'm not sure about the seven, but I do know the seven means that basically everything about that should be fulfilled. Uh, uh, except for one square. Actually, this one is already filled, so I know the rest are around the seven, but just do not touch this square. Because the maximum is eight, and so it is uh, eight minus one. One fact. Okay, so this one, um, the two, actually, the two can only be satisfied uh, by having here and here, basically. That, that's the only two spots I can fit in. I'm kind of missing other spots a bit, but it's fine. Let's just win. There we go. Okay, three. A donut. Nice donut. So, I mean, five blocks. Where's the two? Well, they can't be both inside this section because the one is there, so I know the one is fulfilled this way. And is that all? I mean, it seems like that's all. There's multiple solutions to so there, I think. No, there isn't. Maybe there is. Anyway, level four. Zeros. It's time to image edit it up. So I know that there are, well, these have a mine, these have a mine, so these are, uh, these have to be the mines, and there are no mines in any of these spaces. Because I know that the mine, there's two more spots here, there's one mine here, one mine here, two mines here. Um, uh, the same logic should apply for the other side as well. And that would mean that threes are done? Not really sure, sure what that's about. Is there any other space that threes could fit in? Because we have... Either this, or this, this, right? Um... I probably just have to arrange it so at least one of these is a mine or something like that. Because we... Because we know that all the mines are around the forest, but there's only eight mines. So, let's try to arrange that. Maybe the issue that I'm going to see, though, is that this is a maze, effectively. And that is where I expect the issue to arise. Because there, there might be something where I can only go through one passage or some other nuance like that. Three is actually... Well, this is fulfilled because I can put a mine there. That's... I don't know. The, the mine needs to be, like, in inside there. Which is a little awkward. Okay, so I do that, but don't... Don't lock that one in, right? So something like that. And then a similar situation with the four. So this one doesn't want to. There we go. That one didn't want didn't want to touch the three. There we go. Number management. I always love number management. Okay. Then we go paint mode again. So seven. That means there is all these are mines except one thing here. The mines we have. We have like eleven. You know, for the first time, I'm gonna press Enable Grid. I never do that, except, uh, because I think it looks uglier. But I guess I'll do it now. This, this part of logic is a little annoying to describe, but I believe this is not a mine. Because we have seven, and I know that this, whatever the seven is, it can't finish the two off right here. So, because the seven can only contribute one to the two, so there must be at least one mine here. And now the two to the bottom could be either four mines to do it, or three mines. I mean, three mines is obviously the easier one. So we'll say three mines are somewhere here. Which means there's three mines here, seven mines here, and one mine here. And that is like the only configuration we can have it, so there is no mine in this spot. Meaning the three is finished. Meaning the two is finished. I mean, 
mean, the empty space in the center could be freaking anywhere. And then only three mines account for this. So I think we're done with that. But then again, the specifics for that don't really matter. We need two to finish here. Three to be like this. And the seven can be finished in this way, really. Okay. There we go. So some nice global counting involvement there. Focus. Eh? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can just solve this. Goal. Like the middle spot is like the like the biggest need here. Although notice that the seven has a box on it, so the mine on it counts for the valley. But I'm just gonna locate everything around the seven. There we go. I always wonder if I should do the extras nearby. I don't know. I've never done that so far. Okay, wait, no. I don't know. I'm just gonna do the <laughs> Ugh, indecisiveness. That's, that's worse. I'm gonna do the extras first because it seems like the belts are gonna be introduced later as a new mechanic. Okay, we got ones all over the place here. I mean, I, I see that the one in the corner can only be fulfilled this way, meaning there's no mines around the one here. So it can't be this way. I'm gonna have any trouble things getting stuck in the top, but oh. Please complain about that now. So this one just gets stuck in the corner. We don't even need all of them. All. Okay. But we, yes, we do. What was that? What was that bad counting for me? Okay. Extra two. Oh, no. Okay, this is harder. This is why you can't, uh, you can't easily do the image editing uh, thing on here because it's hard to do. But anyway, it's more open. Okay, so the one is alone because it can't be next to any other box. I'm just going to put it off to the side. Unfortunately, um, it kind of looks ugly to do this, but the one is off to the side. And is the seven adjacent to the two or not? I don't think it is because, well, first of all, the seven's going to end up adjacent to a bunch of other blocks, obviously. And the two's position will be, assuming that it's near the seven, we will have a situation where the two cannot see, uh, it cannot have mines in any of the adjacent squares because it would ruin the two. But then that caused a problem because if it was adjacent to the seven, then there's not actually enough spots here to make seven. Wait a minute. It's, no, the seven is on the box, so this doesn't make any sense. Okay, so it, the seven could be adjacent after all to the two. I guess my problem is it's so hard to rule things out, and this is a level where I don't think anyone would be annoyed if I just like put the 7 here, which is where it seems like it would be, right? And then the 6 sees one less than it. The thing is, I don't know where to put the 6 either. The, you know, maybe the 5 is here. There's probably some parity realization that I just, that I kind of don't have yet. That would be good to have. That doesn't make any sense where these things go. Hmm. I feel like there's some delta logic here. Uh, delta is actually a pretentious term, but it's like the difference between just put it here or here. I'm gonna do it this because I see there's one mine here. Basically, what I mean is there is one mine here and no mines here. And when I put the six and the seven together, which I believe they'll be together because the numbers are so close then this one will have to have a difference of one more than this area because the area in the middle is shared. So that would mean... I guess we would try to put things near the shared for now. The range this but doesn't work. The seven doesn't see enough. Although it's kind of close. Put the five in here. Um, but maybe that wasn't a good idea. Like I need, Actually, I need something here to contribute to the seven, I think. Because filling, we can't just fill all these in because that would require way too many pieces that aren't a four. So I think the piece here needs to be filled in. Maybe a three. Um, I don't know, five needs to see something, but I can't put a two right here because that would ruin it. Let's run this down here and here. Does that work? No, we don't have enough six here. Oh shoot! Uh, swap the four and the five. I think that's gonna work actually, because then I can put the two up here, and now seven's fulfilled, five's fulfilled, four's fulfilled, six is fulfilled, two is fulfilled. So this should work. Yeah, nice. Nice delta logic. So two goes up here, it's here, five, four. 
Five was here, and four here. Okay, cool. Another fake air. Get that out of here. Okay. Now for the shifting, which is very, uh, very shifty, I'll say. So, so, no, I can't actually push that through the belt or anything like that. Although I can stand on number, which is a uh, curse in its own way. But, so, I mean, do I just have to get the twos adjacent, right? N nothing about going back and forth. There we go. So yeah, belt is shift. It'll just automatically move you and probably other boxes as well. Alright, so two, I, the two is already paired here, but I need them to see this wall. What to do is get them off the wall. Okay. There we go. And the other one as well. Nothing complicated here. It's just the belt is shift mechanic from regular Baba. Nine. Again. So I can get them off this way and even turn, uh, turn back, which might look very odd to you, but I mean, that's just the regular mechanic in, in Baba that a lot of custom levels have used. So, there we go. Next is jamming the place. Okay. A plus sign there. Okay, this is a level where you have to jam the, the space up here. And I'll have to do some maneuvering here just to move it to the other side. But uh, this is another common thing in ship levels. Just jam, jam it up so we can get through to this side. And I guess just hit the floor like that. Shouldn't be anything. It's a big deal. Actually, we would jam ourselves if we did that. Wait, what? Um, so we just have to do this, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. And move this down. Here we go. Level 11. So, I need to spend a block, I guess, to do that. So, let's not. You need to get to the blocks, obviously. So, they're here. Is there anything one way about this passage? Like, you could probably imagine uh, someone who does that. But anyway, we just filled those up, and we can just get this one now. Level 12. There is a one there. So now the belts are shifting into each other, which means that we're probably going to see them all alternating between their positions. Um, I think I might need to help with the push, actually. I can't cannot push it there. Let's go back and try to push more. No. But it does have to go through this. Right? No, 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 I'm pushing it down instead of up. That would, that would make more sense. Okay, now we can never get it stuck to the wall, because that would be bad. But anyway, here we go. And level 13. Broken conveyor. So there is a hole in there, so I need to actually bring more than one box in there for the belts to push them up. Uh, push each other like that. Now, I think I'm going to eventually have to go through there myself or something because there's clearly an issue. Actually, um... I, yeah, I just go in there. I need to get, get one box there for sure. And for the other one... I just do that. Oh, actually, to lock it in for myself if I do that. Okay, let's push this in. And there we go. Let's go for the top and bottom. There's an extra level. And now there's a two. Shifting Maze Ultra. Battle advanced. Okay, so. Do I just clog both? I don't know if that's good, but I can do it. Wait, no, 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 I see, I see. So, I'm gonna need to stack the boxes together to win this one, because there's no way I can get two mines naturally around that block. The problem is, how do I get, how do I arrange that to happen? Probably I do this again. Uh, not sure about the rest of the details there. Let's just get this one set in its loop, and then... Time it. Wait, wait a turn, time it, and there we go. Now the boxes have merged into a double one, and they'll count two. Although it is a little annoying that the boxes don't have a sprite where it's more visible, they're sacking, but there we go. And there we go. That is the area complete for uh, World 3. So next one is D, actual World 4. See ya.